Hello and a very warm welcome to Central Key, where we're bringing you the first of our Commonwealth live shows, which will continue right throughout the course of the Glasgow 2014 games. And for a very special one-off, we have all three of the record sport columnists for the games with us today, Gregor Tate, Lee McConnell and of course Graham Mowbray at the end here. So, I mean, first of all, Gregor, we'll start with you just right next to me there, but how have you been looking forward to these games? It's been a long time coming, to be honest. Um, seven years since it, since we won the bid, um, and yeah, it's been it's been a really interesting um, time watching it develop and develop and develop. And now that it's you know so so close now, it's going to be it's going to be pretty exciting. It has seemed to have just sprung up on us. You know, there's been all this preparation. You've been involved Lee, in the build up to it as well, and now it's here. I mean, do you, do you sense that people are ready for it? Definitely. I think um, since London, um, sort of the momentum for the enthusiasm of sport has really just continued. And um, I think you know, in the last couple of months around Glasgow, the atmosphere has certainly been growing. And it's sort of, there's this sort of buzz about the city. And even more so in these last couple of days when sort of all various tours have started turning up. Um, it's, it's good. It's really good. Is there a hope, Graeme, that we can kind of tap into it the way that we saw people connect with the London Olympics. Could this be a, a major event to sort of launch things within the country as well? Well, that was certainly was the hope at the start, wasn't it? To get young people engaged. And to be honest, uh, if we go into schools and talk to young people, then they are engaged and enthused by the games and, and thinking about sporty. And that's good in terms of health and, and, and people looking after themselves being sporty. So if there's that enthusiasm, then uh, that'd be a good thing. What are people? You know, how are people looking forward to these games in Australia as well, and, and, and you know just how they're viewing Scotland as, and Glasgow as a venue? I think the vibe in Australia has been really good because everybody sees this as, as much as it's not a home game, everything is very similar. You know, pretty much the culture is the same, even the weather's the same at the moment. It's um, it's surprisingly beautiful, and um, and everything is, you know, the food's not going to be much different. People speak the same language, you know, so everything. There's a quite a lot of home comforts that they're going to take away from us. I know they're very excited about the whole thing. Have you had any regrets at all we in the lead up to this? <laughs> have you been thinking I could maybe have maybe have whipped myself into shape for this one? <laughs> um, not yet. I think probably when I get into Hamden it's a full packed stadium and some Scot is introduced to the crowd, no doubt I'll be like, oh, I wish that was me. <laughs> but um, realistically I wouldn't have been in the shape I've been in to really do myself justice and sort of to do myself proud, so I think I've got to really think about that and stay positive about not being there. What are we expecting from the, the big opening ceremony tonight, obviously taking place at, at Celtic Park? Thankfully, they pulled back from the brink and they're not blowing up the Red Road flats for this. I don't think there's any plans for anything to be exploded as it stands <laughs> at the moment, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes tonight. I mean, how, how are the three of you looking forward to this as well? Well, in terms of opening ceremonies, um, <clears throat> us on the outside probably get a better view of it than the athletes themselves from, from my experience. Because you're too busy getting shuttled in and shuttled out, and so you don't get to see the entire thing. But I certainly look forward to it's going to be a, an audio visual extravaganza, apparently. So it'd be interesting to see. I look forward to it. I think it'll be good. I think what people need to remember is. It's not on the same budget as what London had for the Olympics. So the opening ceremony isn't going to be as big as that. I think the budget for the whole of the Glasgow Games is probably what London spent just on their opening ceremony. So I think you've got to look at it like that and just go into it not expecting too much. Have you had a wee sneak peek I have, anything I have, that's been happening? I have had a sneak peek and obviously I'm uh, bound to uh, say nothing and keep it a secret. But it's uh, it's going to be spectacular. I'll, I'll give it that. And, um, and it'll be good, and as, as Graham said, I think from a from an outsider's point of view, it's going to be pretty good because as a spectacle, it will be it will be really good. And yeah, the athletes don't see the same the same stuff as the as the as the, the punters see, so it'll be it'll be good to see it from that side point. We just finally, obviously, you will be looking at the, the different events and also Team Scotland as a whole over the coming weeks and in, in the record. But just what are the, the medal chances for this? Do we go into this with high hopes or do we maybe kind of temper the enthusiasm just a wee bit? Well, I think was it the prediction is 34 medals, is that right? 34, 33 medals. Um, I don't know. I, I think um, hopefully they're in home soil. Hopefully the, the Scottish athletes will perform to the best of the ability and I don't think you can ask much more of them than that. If that so happens to result in a medal at the end of the day, then great. But I think as long as they do their best, 
Well, thanks very much for joining us for this opening show. We will, of course, be back every day throughout the course of the Games. And don't forget to pick up your record every day for all the latest news, covering all the events and bringing you every moment of Glasgow 2014. But from the four of us, thanks very much for joining us.